Today was presented the 42-month, three-and-a-half-year follow-up of the 214 study, which showed um, continued uh, overall survival um, and response benefit for um, Nevo Ipi versus Sunitinib in the intermediate and poor risk patients um, and um, continued uh, benefit in PFS that was improving over time. It also showed overall survival benefit in the intent to treat population, which included the favorable risk population. Um, uh, securing the value of Ipinevo as a frontline therapy versus TKI in the intermediate and poor risk population and suggesting that the benefit should be considered also for the intent to treat population, which includes the favorable risk population. The two most interesting things that I saw in the um, data that was presented today was the continued higher level of complete responses, including a 13% overall complete response rate and a higher complete response rate even in the favorable risk patients with ipinevo than with sunitinib and a uh, very long uh, tail on the progression-free survival curve for the entire population that was looking like somewhere around 35% of patients were still going to be progression-free at 42 months and suggesting that those patients could be cured.